20. I said I'm grateful for the people that come in and out my life. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Deja Vu. If you guys are new to my channel, well, please hit that subscribe button down below to be a part of the BQ gay. And if you're an original, mm, welcome back, baby. You already know the last one. That's what, period, okay? So today's video is going to be 21 things that I am grateful for. And I highly suggest you guys do 21 things that you are grateful for as well because when you express gratitude, the universe gives it back to you. And God do appreciate you letting him know the things that you are grateful for, okay? So, let's go through my grateful list with me. So, yes, I did write it down, y'all. Because, of course, it's not coming off the top of my head. Okay? So, for number one, I have, I am grateful for God. Because God is number one. He is above everything. Without him, I am nothing. If you don't have God in your life, I'm going to need you to find him. Okay? And if you need me to help you, come to me, baby. Come to me. Follow me. And I got you. I'm going to lead you right on to him. Right on. I'm going to lead you right on to heaven gates. Okay? So number two, I have, I'm grateful for my mother still being here because a lot of people don't have their mothers. You know, I have a, I have a couple of friends who lost their mom this year and last year. So I do know what it's like, you know, to not have a parent here. My best friend lost her very own mother in 2019 and that was very, very hurtful for her and me. So I do know what it feels like to lose a parent. So for my mom to still be here, I am very, very, very grateful for that. Number three, I put, I'm grateful for my siblings because although they get on my fucking nerves, I still love them. I still be want to punch them. But you know I'm grateful for them, right? So number four, I said I'm grateful for my nieces and nephews because I healed my childhood self through them. Whatever I didn't do, whatever I didn't do through my childhood, I live it through them. So that's how I'm able to heal myself. So if you have kids or if you have nieces and nephews, try to live your childhood life through them. Like if you never did anything while you was a child, take them out and you know do things with them, and that'll help you heal your inner self and your childhood. Um, number five. I'm grateful for the life that I have because literally I get anything that I want. I don't have to ask nobody for anything because I'm the provider of my own self. So I'm grateful for what I have and the life that I have and the life that I choose to live, okay? Very much so. Number six, um, I said I'm grateful for God waking me up and my family up every morning, every night, you know, all throughout the day or whatnot. I'm grateful for it because, you know, some people don't wake up. Some people don't even live to see the next day. So that is something to be grateful for. Number seven, I said I'm grateful for God always coming through. When I always thought that I was going to make it out the storm, God showed up as a rainbow. Showed me that you got this. Just hold on a little while longer. I got you, boo. I got you. Just keep your head held high. Number eight, I put... I'm grateful for my fans and my supporters because without y'all, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Because even when I feel like I'm not doing enough, y'all come back and remind me that I'm doing exactly enough. And y'all keep pushing me to keep going. And we almost had 5K subscribers, y'all. We 20 subscribers away from 5K. So if you're watching this video, go subscribe right now. Right now, okay? Period. At first, I was at 32. A year ago, a year or two ago, I was at 32 and now I'm almost at 5K. That's a celebration. Came a long way. Number nine, I said I'm grateful for the job that I have because with me being an influencer and a content creator, I work from home, so I'm able to focus on both, you know, and not have to stress about me not being able to make content or find the time, you know, like I used to in the past because I'm not in the same spot that I was a year ago and I'm very appreciative of it. I'm very grateful for it. Number 10, I'm grateful to have a roof over my head because, you know, you got a lot of people who are struggling to find a place to sleep or sleeping outside or homeless, you know, so I'm grateful, to, you know, to have a place to call home. Number 11, I put, I'm grateful for the shoes and clothes that I have because a lot of people don't have shoes or clothes, you know, a lot of people wear the same stuff every day and I'm just not one of those people and I'm grateful for it. Number 12, I say I'm grateful for food being provided on the table so my mom can provide food, I can provide food, everybody in this household can provide food for each other so that is something to be very grateful for because not a lot of people have, you know, stuff to eat. little things that I'm grateful for and the little things to be grateful for. Number 13, I said I'm grateful for the lessons that I've learned because if it wasn't for the lessons, I wouldn't have the knowledge that I have now. So I'm always, you know, grateful for everything that I go through. God, if it's good or bad, I learn from everything, okay? I make sure I take in the knowledge and know what not to either go through again or take from again. Number 14, I said I'm grateful for the growth in me because I see like, you know, my growth. I actually recognize my growth. And when you do some self-reflect, when you self-reflect on your life, you actually see the growth in your, you know, your progress. 
the progress that you have made along your path. You see what you, you know, used to do to what you do now. You know, so I'm proud and I'm grateful for it because the old me was hell and the new me is like peace and rainbows. With a little bit thunder. Number 15, I put it, I'm grateful for having transportation. So I lost my car a little bit after my birthday, but the thing was, I had got me a work from home job, but I applied for my work from home job in like March and my training didn't start until like June. So with me losing my car, it was like, it didn't even phase me. Like it hurt, but it didn't even phase me because it's like, I don't even have to go out for work no more. I work from home. And it also give me the opportunity to, you know, do content, work on my YouTube shit, which I already manifested the job. I manifested the job like last year because, you know, I get tired of working. You know, I just how I know I'm here to be my own boss. But I get tired of working out. And each job that I get, I say that it always got to get better. And this work from home job, this is my last job before I completely go full time. Mark my words. I'm going to come back to this video. Number 16 is I'm grateful to be able to provide for myself because, like I said, I do everything for me. Like, yeah. 17, I'm grateful to be able to motivate others because I get inbox on the daily of people telling me that, you know, I inspire them to, you know, do better or I inspire them to, you know, want to move their life. I'm just glad to be able to have that much, you know, I don't want to say power. But it's something like that because I'm I'm able to influence other people but in a good way. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to move their spirit. You know? So that's a good thing. I motivate them. So yeah. <laughs> Number 18, I put I'm grateful for my guardian angels and my spirit guys. Yeah, because without them, baby, oh Lord. Whew. If you ever been through a spiritual awakening, come in and let me know. Because I know I ain't gonna one baby. And them just be hitting hard. Number 19, I put I'm grateful for my dog Pepper, y'all. Because I love Pepper piss me off. I know she makes me mad. She my baby. But she just gotta stop that boo-boo in the pen on my floor. But she know I don't play that. I'm automatically. No, no. She know that. She be knowing. She right up under this chair. As I speak, I will put her on the camera. But I ain't gonna blast it. Because I'm telling you, she right up this chair. Number 20, I said I'm grateful for the people that come in and out my life because whether they're here for a good time or they're here for a bad time, I either learn from them or I don't. You know, they either give me happiness or they either give me sadness, but either or I'm still grateful for it because I still overcome whichever one it is. Like some people, it's like we had a good start, but we ended out bad, but it ain't in our bed in my favor. It's because of you, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still grateful for the time that you gave me, for the happiness you gave me, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. In 21, I said I'm grateful for the serenity prayer because, y'all, the serenity prayer is what mostly got me through everything. Like, everything. Everything. I even got a titty on my arm. Because, yeah, I used to have a ring. I wish I could find it in a ring. But I used to have a ring that I got it from Didi's. But I lost it. I don't even think I lost it. I probably misplaced it. And when I moved, it just disappeared. I don't know. Or maybe somebody stole it. I don't to say that. But, you know, it was gold. <laughs> It was a gold serenity ring and it had the prayer around the whole ring. Makes the word on my middle finger all the time. So, yeah. Those were 21 things that I'm grateful for. So, yeah. Let me know what are 21 things you're grateful for. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button down below to be part of Ricky Gang. And if you're an original, mm, welcome back, baby. You already know the vibes. And it's period. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Trip off that shit, I was kicking to your head